Humanized robots may once have been a figment of the imagination, but 2008 saw several robots bringing the concept a step closer to reality. In July, London Science Museum was the venue for the debut of some futuristic robots. Uh, the pea brain is hooked up to a computer vision system which looks for faces in a crowd. And then once it finds a face, it sends signals to the pea brain and it tells it to look left or look right or look up or look down and that's how it tracks. While the IC Hexapod robot might have a system that functions similar to a brain, the heart robot has an altogether more human look. It features eyes that blink, hands that grab fingers, and even a heart that beats, reflecting the robot's emotional state. And so as you move him, as you hold him and touch him, he responds to you. His state, his very simple reactive state, changes. According to one lab administrator, the goal is to get robots to interact with us in the future, and the more approachable they are, it is thought the more willing people will be to use them. This was one of the latest generations of robots on display at an exhibition in Los Angeles in August. An animatronics robot head that mimics human physical actions as eyes move and lips part. The lifelike expressions are created by simulating the movement of human muscles and tendons. Another advancement on display was the robot Nexi, made by a group led by the MIT Media Lab. It responds to people with face gestures and speech. When you speak, the robot's face follows your face, and its expressions hint at human feelings. Hello, I'm Mr. Astrophy. Some companies are just interested in people's interest in robots and are using that to promote products. Mr. Asahi was created by the Japanese beer brand of the same name to help sell their product on a promotional tour. He can pour and serve lager like an expert bartender and never tires. Back in the lab, researchers at the University of Southampton are developing many robots that work as one. These are small, independent robots that swarm together and cooperate with each other autonomously. The first prototype of these swarm robots were created by students by using the vibrator motor from a mobile phone battery. If we send instead of one very expensive large robot a, s a large number of small robots in that collaborate to achieve a task, then if there's a fault in one of the robots, it will not stop the entire uh, task to be done eventually. But not all robots have such a workhorse ethic. Honda's promotional android Asimo can make some impressive moves on the dance floor. One Japanese robot trade fair imagined a future where robots are a part of everyday life. The robots on display have been designed to look after the sick and elderly, as well as clean homes and serve drinks. Nikam Lai, the founder of the Hong Kong Human Robot Center, has made a number of robots in his own likeness. He uses 3G mobile phone technology to control his human-like robots. It seems likely that as robots become ever more lifelike, they are set to feature even more prominently in the future.